Number seven, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And then what's the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter H. So in this case, we just have to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of H5N2+. Okie dokie. Since we can find both the conjugate acid and the conjugate base from a single ion, that means that in certain situations, this ion can act as an acid. And then in other situations, it can also act as a base. When you have an ion that acts or that can act as both an acid or a base, it's called an amphoteric ion or an amphoteric molecule. We'll see that in later questions. But as of right now, we just got to find those conjugates. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to treat it as an acid and find the conjugate base first. So I have H5. And by the way, conjugate just means what you produce. So a conjugate is always going to be on the product side. And it's just the other pair that you can get from your starting ion. And conjugates are only used in acid bases. So it's only going to be used in this chapter if you're talking about acids and bases. Okie dokie. So remember, guys, that a base is always one less hydrogen than its acid. That's it. So if you're trying to go from an acid to its conjugate base, all you got to do is just ditch one hydrogen. Just lose it. Just lose it. Wah! Oh my God, how old am I? <laughs> what song is that? Let me know. <laughs> anyway, so here are my hydrogens. I had five of them. So if I want to find a base, all we got to do is just ditch one of the hydrogens. So instead of five, it will drop down to, you got it, four. So H4, and then all the other elements come along. So it'd be N2. Now let me just pull this over a little bit just so I have a little bit more room. But now we just have to adjust the charge. So whenever you drop a hydrogen, you're always going to subtract one from the original charge. Originally, there was a plus. That means that there was a plus one. So when I come over here, I say, okay, I was a plus one, but since I dropped a hydrogen, I minus one from my charge. So plus one, minus one, that's just zero. So I don't have to write anything. This is my conjugate base. Okay, now we just got to do the same thing and treat it as if this was a base. And what's the conjugate acid? So we got H5 and 2 plus. So on the flip side, if you're starting off as a base and you want to get to the conjugate acid, acids always have one more hydrogen. So you're going to gain one hydrogen. So you had H5, so you just got to bump this number up. So yeah, it would be H6. So H6, all the other elements come along for the ride, N2, and now just fixed that charge. So when you're adding a hydrogen, you plus one to your overall charge. It was originally a plus one. So I come over here, I say, okay, it was a plus one. Now I'm gonna add one. One plus one is a plus two. And that, my friends, is the conjugate acid. There you go. Beautiful. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.